I'm just going to talk you through this automation, which is a uh, beginnings of a knowledge system. So this is quite a simple knowledge system to start off with. So it will trigger a question on your phone once an hour on the hour from nine to five. So it's triggered here within uh, NAN node motion. And what happens is this HTTP request will then call a webhook on your phone on push cut. Pushcut will then open a shortcut called quiz and the quiz will then come back here and call this webhook here. Now this webhook here goes to Airtable, gets the data set back, gets a random row from that data set and then responds. Now on your phone, it will then display this question. So let's just show the cron job. As you can see, we're using a custom cron expression here that basically runs on the hour nine to five. And when this runs, it'll call this here. So let's just show this triggering. If I execute that there. takes a little while. As you can see, look, we've got a question pop up here. Click that. We launched the quiz. So this is where it looks pretty slow here. So there are improvements that you'd want to do. Here we go. And what it's doing here is it's actually hitting this webhook, which is then hitting this air table and returning here. Uh, here we go. Look, question here done. Do you know the answer? Shaquille O'Neal spot on. So that's pretty much it on how it works. This will trigger, this will then call launch cuts, which then launches the quiz, which then hits this here. I can actually give you an example of this running here. So if I run this web hook, so it's waiting for a trigger event. So then I open this and I hit it with a get request. That's just loading now. So as you can see here, it's waiting for us to call the test URL. There it goes all the way through. And then if we look in our browser, we've got a question and answer, which is then passed back to the quiz shortcut and displayed.